Hi everybody and welcome to the next episode. So yes, it's a new week. Uh, it's Monday evening now. Uh, so we're getting a bit late on in the day. We're just getting up to 6pm and I'm about to go live over on Hair Socials. Now, another exciting thing. Tomorrow I brought a new microphone for the camera so I can't wait to get that on. Hopefully the sound will be better. But right now we're just in my shed. So as you can see, I will be live on that TV on YouTube from that computer there and I'll also be TikToking it live so you can always watch me doing the behind the scenes stuff which is in here and then for the YouTube channel hopefully get some more subscribers as we go forward so yeah on that note if you haven't liked and subscribe but make sure you do it but uh, we're now moving on to Paul Watts so Paul Watts has got 60 odd thousand followers on YouTube which is incredible so if you want to watch that head over to my hair social channel uh, and watch that whole live there, but I will give you a bit of a demo, but I need this camera to do the live, so over to, uh, over to my live. Yes guys, so there we go, I've done my lab, <clears throat> it was 45 minutes long, so yeah, very good, as you can see it's on the TV behind me, so uh, it's already up on YouTube, there we go, there we am. So we've just done a live, it was live on my TikTok as well, so um, yeah, multiple excuses to watch it, so thank you very much for that. Uh, tomorrow, early morning start, we're going to get up straight out on the road, we're going to go and see Dara Lennian getting ready for uh, his last game of the season um, but yeah it's going to be good we're going to meet up with Jared and he's helping me and then on Wednesday we're going to Newcastle to get them bodies ready Chris Wood and Matt Target so busy week ahead I'm going to sign off now at Bank Holiday Monday so I might get myself a little beer um, but yeah thank you very much guys and if you do want to watch more of me don't forget to subscribe to YouTube good morning everyone so today is the day after the um Hair Socials Live, which went really, really well. Uh, shame about the stream quality though, it's one of them things. It doesn't always go perfectly. Today we're off to Dara Lennian's, the Blackburn uh, Centre half. Gonna go see him, and then wife's making me go to Ikea, so I love that. Um, and then um, tomorrow we're meeting up with Elvis. Elvis is coming back on the road with me, and we're going up to Newcastle. We're gonna go and see Matt Target and uh, Chris Wood, so that'll be a good day. Always a long one, but it's a good day. Uh, you never know, we might pick someone else up on the way. I have to text somebody else, but we'll see if he texts me back. And then this weekend is Burnley versus Villa. Uh, there's a small chance I might actually be going to the Villa camp as well before there, just to cut their air. So yeah, busy week ahead, but we still always started off the usual place. Here we are at Starbucks. So yeah, what a day that was, it was quite easy really, uh, up early, over to Dara's, uh, went to Ikea. Now, the best thing about Ikea, I don't know if anyone else agrees, is the meatballs. Take the meatballs out of the equation, it is hell. However, the reason I bring up Ikea is because, check these out, i got behind me. Just thought it sort of like popped the studio a little bit, uh, put a bit of depth in the background, anybody who's sort of into photography. I haven't got all my setup on, it's, it's just getting dark now outside, so the lighting's quite poor, but... I just wanted to show you them. Uh, so yeah, so tomorrow I'm up early again, uh, meeting Elvis. Elvis is having an haircut, so I'll tell you what, we'll do a little blog on cutting Elvis's hair. Um, so that's a bit of an improv thing, it might not work, so if he's not there, forgive me. Uh, but yeah, we'll do that, and then we're going over to Newcastle in the afternoon. A small chance again still that I might be going to the Aston Villa camp at the weekend, so I'm excited for that, because it's been a while since I've seen Danny Ings. So. And then the last thing is I bought a microphone, which I've still not plugged in, but the adapter should be here in the next half an hour according to Amazon. So as soon as that's here, we'll uh, we'll try it out and hopefully you guys can see the difference in the sound quality. And then my blog will just keep growing and growing. But yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. So 
So yeah, we were just upstairs in my salon at the minute, as Elvis behind me, just had his hair cut. Do you like your hair cut, Jared? Beautiful. Beautiful. Great job. Oh, and, there we go, a bit of focus. Loves it. Yeah. And then, du, 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 there's Lorna. Hi, Lorna. Just a bit of a tour in my salon. And then, look, we've got the old turf um, seats. What's that that? From Bob Lord, weren't it? Yeah. They're the Bob Lord seats. So, cool. Anyway, oh yeah, and look at my new microphone. Can you see it? There's my new mic. So hopefully you guys can hear me better while this is focusing in and out. There's been a real test for it there, so hopefully you can check out that it works fine. So yeah, so we're off to I Newcastle So we are just on our way to Newcastle. We're just driving through the back end of Colne, so hopefully it shouldn't be too long. Um, but it is a lovely day, absolutely chucking it down. Um, but apart from that, hopefully it should be a pretty easy journey. Hopefully, yeah, we've... Uh... Three hours, he's saying we'll get there at bang on three o'clock, which is what time I said I'd be there. So fingers crossed, up oh, five minute delay, it's just actually flagged up as I'm telling you that story. So it. I know, that's my bad. But yeah, anyway, hopefully it's good. Hopefully the new mic's working well and everyone can hear us better than uh, before. But uh, we'll see, I'll, I'll watch it back. I won't actually edit for, watch these videos until the day I come to editing it all and putting it on YouTube for everybody. So yeah. hopefully it works all right. Otherwise, there's a week of silence. <laughs> um, but yeah, on the way to Newcastle, three hours. I don't mind the drive though, do you? No, it's good. Good little day. And it's a good little bonding session for me and the brother. Yeah, we like to brainstorm ideas and yeah. talk about things that we, we've And got. then I leave the car and don't think about them again. But Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've got um, Burnley versus Villa this weekend, Jared. While well, I've got you, yes. um, let's get your... And I'm good because I can't go on. Because I've got my uh, opening uh, You can't go on? No. I know, I'm, I'm devastated. It's my opening night, King and Queens. Oh, so I've got to be there earlier. Jared's a singer. If you don't know from his haircut from uh, that I've just done, as you can see on the video five minutes ago, we are cutting his hair. He's an Elvis tribute, but this weekend he's also... I had tonight, Matthew. I am going to be Meatloaf. <laughs> you're in Meatloaf. So if you're in Blackpool, anyone, uh, head over to Kings and Queens at the weekend. Central Pier. You will see me there as Meatloaf, you can see the big picture of me, it looks nothing like me. It does. It's quite good. But anyway, going back to yes, football, sorry. Jared, what do you think the score else? will be? I, last week, went bravely before the game on the blog and said yeah. what I thought the Wolves score would be, and I got it bang on, so... Uh, uh, if I get it right twice in a week, I, and I did put a bet on it last week, oh, okay. So go on, what do you think the score's going to be? Uh, my gut instinct is a point, to be honest. I think... Villa are a decent team, but seeing that, I'm not trying to sit on the fence. Um, but we've got that unbelievable momentum to keep going. And surely, if, is it not if we win this one, Watford are down, and then all the pressure's back on Leeds and Everton again? We're in that sort of good little position at the minute where as long as we keep going, you know what I mean, that momentum keeps going, that he's putting more pressure on the teams below us. Well, Joe had me on Turfcast last week, and I, I, I said then, well, he had to go because Parker were crying, but I said yeah. that um, I think we need four points to stay up um, and yeah. might be five now because of the result that Everton got. I didn't see Everton getting that result, so let's ah, say it's five points. quite shocked at that one. Uh, yeah, so is it Villa Saturday and Villa Thursday? We've got Villa, then we've got a game in between, I think. Yeah, it's Villa again, isn't it? Away, no, and got, then Spurs. I think we've got someone, then Villa. I don't know. I think we've got Villa at home, Spurs away, then Villa at home, and then Newcastle. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, OK. So, hopefully, Chris Wood um, mentioned that as well, so hopefully we'll be going to the Newcastle camp before the awesome. Burnley game to cut their hair, so that'll be cool, so that'll be a good video in the future coming up. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now, because you'll be able to see that. We've also got a couple of London trips coming up, and what was the other one that I've got? Hopefully, obviously, the Villa camp this weekend, so, yeah. Yeah. But A lot to look forward to. Anyway, we'll fast forward, we'll yeah. get there. We'll see uh, you when we are nearer to Newcastle. Bye. Good, really. Use the left lane. 
So we have just been to see Chris Wood and Matt Target. We are Sam Jules obviously have been cutting the hair. And we are now on our way back. We are just on our way back from Newcastle. We have just done a little pit stop, some food for Simon, and he's got something he'd like to tell you all. I ain't got nothing I'd like to say to you. However, it was very cool. We, uh, where were we? Near Harrogate. We're like Ripon. I think we're in Ripon. A61, yeah. Harrogate Road. And we just pulled up at Mackey's, and we're all a bit tired and a bit giddy. And then they go to the McDonald's, and the guy comes out to the window after us, passes me my food, and then I get ready to drive off, and he says, whose hair have you been cutting today then? And I'm like, the maddest thing ever, no one's ever asked me that question live uh, on the road outside my own town. So that, that was pretty crazy, that. I don't know. I don't know how to react to it, because it's unusual. Cool. It's something to be proud of. It's something to be proud of. Oh, we're awesome. So whoever you are, I don't need it. I should have asked your name. But Big you shout are, out to the lad who works at McDonald's. The guy at McDonald's, comment on my video, so I know you are, or drop me a message because I might miss the comment. But, what a guy. I don't know who he is, but I need, he needs to reach out to me. And he now expects free McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Everyone, well, hopefully you can see and hear me better. Now. Well, hear me better because the camera's not changed, just the microphone. So hopefully you can hear me better now. Uh, I had no work on today physically, but I had to do some articles today, so that was one of them days where I'm not a massive writer and reader. I hate doing it, but pretty cool things. So I had to do an interview for Barber magazine. Whether they use it or not is another thing. So I had to talk about my disability, my adversities, what I've achieved, and sort of like with these adversities, if you will. So not a very comfortable thing to talk about because it's hard writing by yourself anyway, isn't it? So I, I managed to do that. Uh, then I did another one for a Pro Hair magazine, which was just writing up a, an essay on how to use social media to your advantage, why hairdressers need it, the questions like that were pretty cool. But I uh, even spoke about like my first uh, in that Barber magazine when I even spoke about like my first employer and, and sort of like reflected on not not how poorly I was treated. I never really never dwelled on it, but I realised then it was pretty, it, it was pretty bad, but I, I won't drop it, I won't drop it in. So yeah, so I did that, so I, I've just been out on my bike, um, so I've done all them articles, then I went out on the bike, beautiful day, six hours in the car yesterday with Jared, so we went out, I uh, don't know, I'm at eight, eight point something kilometres, so only a nice easy one, nothing too strenuous on a nice evening. And then I've just come back. City played last night, I threw it out there 1-1, but they absolutely capitulated, so I'm very shocked about that. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd uh, jump on and explain what I've been doing on this fine, beautiful Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday, we'll see if I get the call to go in to see Danny Ings and some other boys at Aston Villa. Fingers crossed, not heard anything yet, so I might not do. But uh, I'd really enjoy it if I did, so let, let's hope I do. Uh, then we've got Burley vs Villa. We've got a couple of haircuts in the mornings for friends in the salon. So we've got to get them done. Uh, my cousin Gavin, the wedding singer, he's coming in as well. So three haircuts in the morning, then hopefully about then I'll know whether I'm going to the villa camp. So yeah, so on that note actually, I'm going to tell you a little bit about, um, I was saying that I explained to you about uh, uh, my disability and things like that, and I had uh, a bad back, I've had a wow bad back. I'm not just talking about recently, I'm talking about six months where I have to get help just to sit me up sometimes, it hurts that much. And then I went to the physio, and the physio kind of said, yeah, we've done an x-ray because you've got brittle bones. What could commonly be that you broke your bones, it was not unusual to that to happen. So I said, yeah, absolutely fine. So I went and had um, an x-ray, there was no fractures on it whatsoever. So he gave me these exercises to do. Anyway, I said to him, look, this back's been at me for months. I'm not having that it's muscular. So I did all the exercises. Then I went for a scan uh, about three weeks ago because I couldn't feel my feet. Uh, when I was doing a haircut, and I know it sounds really sort of like mad, but I tried to battle through the haircut, and it was one of my footballers. Uh, you know when you just start, it was a similar feeling, that panic feeling when you feel like you're going to throw up. Um, but obviously it was nothing to do with that, I just felt like I needed to get this haircut done now, so I could go, I needed to get out of there. So that that's not something I've ever felt before, so my feet were going numb. So I went to doctors, anyway, they sent me to hospital, MRI scan, and I've got two fractures in my back. Uh, I've got a fracture in two of my vertebrae or something like that. So basically, yeah, my back's in bits. Uh, so I've on these new painkillers now. Uh, so let's see if they help. Said I should be right in a few weeks. So I've been out on my bike, which is probably the best thing to do when you're uh, 
got brittle bones and you've got a broken back. However, trying to lose a bit of weight I thought would help my back in the long run because I've got a little bit of a lockdown belly that's never really gone. So yeah, I'm going to try and work hard, get the weight down, uh, keep working for as long as I physically can. And I, it was something I, I sort of went into on this article with a barber magazine that, I, I, you know, I've got a short lifespan in this working world. So I want to get as much done as I can and this is why I'm starting doing the blogs now. So yeah, in full transparency, the reason I'm doing these blogs is because hearing about my back and sort of like going into the future, I don't know how long I'll be able to quit Air Force. So but if I document it, grow, maybe grow a social media platform on YouTube and see what happens. But yeah, all this stuff's not really going on my social media. It's kind of just like who I am really in the blogs. But I'm going to start uploading education and everything onto my YouTube. So a lot of things to come, a lot of things to work on. Uh, and hopefully you guys are enjoying it. And if you are, click the like and subscribe button, share it to your friends, I don't mind. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying doing it, it's hard work to, to, to remember to blog it all. But yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So, I'm thinking of as next week, there's a doll behind me somewhere, where is she? There she is. Thinking of doing some education by basically doing haircuts uh, live in my studio, which is here. Uh, and, and promoting it on YouTube along with my weekly blogs. But yeah, anyway. Fingers crossed everybody, let's hope that I get that call from Aston Villa, from uh, Danny Ings to go to the Aston Villa camp, because uh, that would be incredible. I have done it before, when Tom Eaton was there, so fingers crossed. Yes guys, so it's match day. Um, as you can see, I didn't go to the Villa camp yesterday. I didn't hear of um, Ingsy till about 6 o'clock. And then I got a text saying that uh, they were all good, but definitely next time. So one of the things that happens. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, we get a result today. I know Ings is starting, I've just seen the lineup. This morning I went to watch Louis play. Louis plays for this development team for Berlin Football Club and we won 3-0, so that was awesome against Lincoln City. Louis is the goalkeeper, he played awesome. So I don't know if you guys want to see stuff like that in the future, I can put it on definitely. Uh, but yeah, great game. So, Villa game. Ings is starting, Ashley Barnes has come in. I think that if we're going to win this game, it's going to be another 1-0. Uh, similar to Wolves, I, I know that they'll want a lot of the ball, they want to drive at us, so I think... A scrappy 1-0 for us, I'd be delighted with that. So let's get anyway. Time to go. My dad's here, so let's go. Right, Austin, what do you think the score's going to be? 2-1-2, two, two. who's going to win? Burnley. Louis, what's the score going to be? 2-1 Burnley. 2-1 Burnley, I'm still saying 1-0 Burnley. Yes, so I'm working tomorrow in Nottingham. Uh, this is Sunday night, by the way. So I've come to a hotel. We're staying here for the night. Um, just got here now. It's quite late on, so I didn't do an after football thing yesterday because we got beat, so I wasn't in the mood. But I did go on Turfcast and give my opinion, so if you want to see them, go there. Um, so yeah, so I've just arrived in Nottingham. Watched all the football today. Um, still, still hoping on a Burnley survival. Leeds getting beat. Uh, anyway, got a course tomorrow. So, cutting course. This is with Matrix. I am at Rendezvous in Nottingham. Uh, don't know how many there yet because there's small numbers still due to COVID restrictions, um, which uh, you think could be all over now. But anyway, I'm staying in this hotel. Now, this cost me 70 odd quid and we have to pay for our own stuff, but then we claim it back. So, this is the room. This is as simple as this. There is a horrible door to the bathroom. 
Now I did book an accessible room because I've come in my chair. So let me show you this. It's a horrible room. It's not the best. It's best Western, right? Because me 70 odd quid. It looks not so bad from that angle, but then you've got sort of like, right, bear in mind, I'm sat down. Just showing you now. So sit down. Let me, yeah, there's a mirror here. Oh, let me go back. Let me go back. So there we go. There's me, sat down. Up here is, you know where you put the key cards to put your power on? That is at like a full extension for me. So I can barely get it in. Now, I did book an accessible room, so this is the definition of for someone who's disabled. Um, I'm travelling on my own. The reception has no, <laughs> like, <coughs> has absolutely no way of finding your way in unless you just use your common sense. But you're parked outside. There's a big staircase up there, Best Best Western. So I have to kind of like go around the back where the bins are, and then you can see a car park sort of entrance. I pushed up the hill, and then then you're in the reception. Then I went in the lift and nearly tipped forwards because the lift has like a drop, which I, I didn't see. So I had my rucksack on. I was just pushing through, and then I, needed, like, I felt like my chair go forward. So yeah, it's it's a shocking hotel. So if you are travelling on your own and you're in a wheelchair, this is your version of a luxury. Uh, disability room that I say it looks really that, that there's not many that are but they're, they're usually better than this uh, I'll show you the bathroom a bit boring for those who are not in a wheelchair but you know some people might be watching this in a wheelchair just for there you go so there's your shower where's your light there boom there you go horrendous one of the worst looking bathrooms I've ever seen so yeah I don't think I'm being Asking for too much, but yeah. A room that I could sell so far in. Couldn't even get the fecking electric on. Uh, thankfully, as you know, I can stand up, so I got away with it. But if you're travelling on your own and you're in a wheelchair, I would avoid Best Western in Nottingham. Anyway, I'm going to go to sleep now because it's about 10 o'clock. Uh, up early for the course. Going down. Please mind the doors. Doors closing. Going. Right, yeah, so I have just finished in Nottingham. It was a place called Rendezvous. Um, that is basically a distributor. I've been there doing a course for Matrix. It was awesome, really. Um, small numbers at the minute due to post-COVID. Some, some places will only accept a certain amount of numbers. Uh, so that will be awesome. Uh, this pretty much will wrap up this week. However, next week, next week's ball, we've got loads of cool stuff coming up. We've got a lot of football haircuts, and we've got um, what have we got? Oh, I've got a presentation thing in Manchester to do. So I'll video as much as that as I can. It's like a 4D training, and then there's a huge event in June do, that I'm doing where we will be able to uh, sort of talk about the new products and everything like that. Uh, and I've got a big part on the stage, so I'm excited but nervous. Uh, so Thursday's a bit of a practice for that, so I'll take you guys with me and you can see it. But yeah, that's the end of this week. I hope you liked it. If you have, uh, haven't liked and subscribed, please do it now, because it all helps in what we do. Uh, but yeah, if you uh, the summary of this week was, I didn't get to go to Villa, which was a shame, and I was on hold all day hoping I'd get to go. And don't stop it. Best Western in Nottingham is crap. Another thing I found out last night after I put the uh, camera down was I couldn't reach the air conditioning unless I stood up. So if you're in a wheelchair permanently, you ain't reaching it. Um, so yeah, that was crap. But the breakfast were good. I enjoyed the breakfast. They were a nice lady that served me. So best Western, poor. But anyway, yes guys, see you next week.